Hi, in this video we are going to have a look at update 16.6 from King of Avalon. It's not, uh, say, very interesting from the new features point of view. There are two new heroes, again I would say, but this time it's the normal uh, appoint here, appointed heroes, or what they call it, the uh, nee, the combat heroes versus the appointed heroes. Nee, the appointed heroes. I don't understand these names. Okay, they are Linus and uh, Sir Ulvius, and they have an infantry focus. Special power is more. Uh, when Linus is with your troops, infantry health increases a lot and reduce enemy uh, bowmen attack. So it's also a bit against bowmen. And Ulfius has a... Uh, they deal damage to the bathe health to enemy bowmen every three rounds, so that's nice, and deals extra damage of your infantry's bathe health. So this is uh, these two, the ones that are below, are only active if you have two heroes with infantry focus signed. So, for me, not really relevant because I'm not going to uh, have them anytime soon. So there are the normal things. We have the Time Lord targets. Well, I don't have... Um, I guess I don't have any points yet. I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe I should have them at higher stars or something. I don't know why this is vacant. I do have those heroes, but maybe not assigned anyway. I have them at one star, so for me it would never uh, amount to anything. But it's a bit... Uh, I, I didn't even look at it before, but it's a bit... I find it a bit weird that it's this vacant. We have the uh, hero... Council, Expeditions, Gauntlets, whatever they like to call it. Um, I've already tried this and it <laughs> didn't even matter. Now, yeah, on exactly which heroes I had selected. But I, even with my best heroes, I tried and I am unable to finish the last of the first uh, path. So that is, yeah, the rewards are really very uh, limited from that point of view. A few horns. For the rest, I haven't really, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, mythical summon, but that's more for paying, so it's not really relevant for me. Other things they have announced the Fey Realm Season 3. I haven't seen any icon yet, so that's probably in the days to come. I think often they start on Monday, so maybe we still have a few uh, days to uh, wait. Would make sense that they started only after the Kingdom versus Kingdom. The, we have uh, they announced the seventh anniversary feast. I guess that's the Alliance feast that's also starting soon. In two days, so that is on Saturday, I think. And what else? They said there is a new honor pass. Always interesting. Uh, I already have the free key and chest, so let's see. Not uh, very special, I would say. What is the most interesting change that I saw? Well, before I go to the most interesting change one, first, something related to the heroes. So you can now purchase two of the Lodin every day. They are quite expensive. You can also purchase them from Niederfall, but that was already the case, I believe. Um, so if you don't have all skills unlocked, or you want to work towards the next star level, you can purchase some here now. As I said, it is quite expensive. I have quite some uh, 
still quite some, but at uh, 130,000, I think it's 130,000, 65,000 for one, 130,000, that is uh, depleting quite fast. And I also still have quite some other things to buy. I'm close to having my all six smart pieces, but um, gemstone still quite a bit and uh, the great uh, hero weapon still quite a lot uh, to do. So still quite far to go. But at least you can purchase some now. And the other thing that I wanted to mention that is kind of uh, a very big change in my eyes, the celestial badges that you can get from the Lost Dragon Cave Phantom Isles is increased from 5 to 40. So that means now you can get 160 celestial badges just from doing the Phantom Isles from Monday to Thursday. That is quite a lot. I will go into that a bit more in a separate video. And these were actually the only changes that I noticed um, in the new version. If you've seen anything more, if you have any comments or any questions, that is always much appreciated. And thanks for watching this video.